Players IQ Basic Training, Module 218-218, Media Player, Part 2. Okay, last time we looked at playing some things and how it might look on the um, student's view. This now is using YouTube. And first of all, we want to look at that the, the WizIQ's intention is that our playlist would stay the same from class to class. It's not working that way yet. But if you come in early, you set up your class, your playlist will still be there. Let's go ahead and clear this list. And now we can go in and grab something else. Those are mp3s, another video file maybe. So there's, oh, we have to click on that plus sign. Oh, and we can launch it right from there. I wonder if that would work. Let's do that. Oh, that not only throws in the list, it launches it. Cool, I learned something today too. Okay, so what we want to look at today though is using a video link from YouTube. So we just simply have to get a YouTube video link. Let me get into that. So this is YouTube. That's me on my karaoke, uh, one of my karaoke videos for English. And we want to share this. So we click on share. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this new form. We're going to copy it of link. They have an old form we're going to look at in just a moment. We're going to paste it in here. Right click, paste. And we're going to add it to the playlist. And there it is. And let's just see what happens. Let's see if it plays for us. Oh good, they've got that working. So, <laughs> that works. We do not have the ability, nor does, to um, change the volume. But we could mute it if we wanted. Uh, the thing I did want to show you, which I am going to show you now, there's always workarounds. And now in YouTube, and probably in others, there's going to be some options. In the options, you're going to see the long link. Uh, that used to be a required workaround to be able to um, grab a YouTube video that the WizIQ platform did not like the newer link. So let's go ahead and put that in. Now, if we play it from here, yep, it did load into here. It is playing, so. All right, so that's it for using YouTube links. Um, if a student is in China, it will not work for them. What I have done is converted my YouTube videos because they're longer and there is a limit on WizIQ, I've converted them to FLV files. Let's see, how can we look at those? Where would I have put those? Under EduPunk. So I have some FLV, which is a flash video, um, but anything but YouTube, a China student or Iranian student could see. So that's how I can got around that for those type of students is I could add one of those if that is a flash video I forget now um, to the class and there it is so that's another way to bring um, a video or any kind of audio video file in is using the content library you could use the upload from desktop but believe me you don't want to it takes forever all right I think that's it Let's see what that looks like. Oh, no, that one. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's how to use the um, uh, YouTube. And I'm going to end this now, and we'll be starting with another part next module. Bye-bye.